Hey guys, welcome to another design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Today I'm using two cute turtles by My Favorite Things. I've gone ahead and stamped all my images out using, let me think for a second, um, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and I stamped them on Spectrum Noir cardstock. I'm using my Spectrum Noir markers, and my coloring is okay. Um, uh, I don't think... Well, I don't think spec. Well, <laughs> um, it's okay. The this turtle in particular is a little darker than I wanted, but it worked out fine. Um, the more I use these markers, I still love my Spectrum Noirs, and I still am not going to go crazy and buy Copics, um, even though I do have the skin tone. But I am seeing where the Spectrum Noirs lack in certain areas so I have been kind of scoping out um, Copic markers to kind of fill in some gaps that I feel the Spectrum Noir markers have and um, I don't know necessarily think the green is lacking but definitely the reds if you have the Spectrum Noir markers let me know your thoughts I don't think they have a great collection of red markers so Anyway, if you've been following me a while, I said previously that I will probably never get Copics because they cost so much, but I've since eaten my words. <laughs> um, but obviously, it's a very slow process where I'll be collecting a little to kind of, like I said, fill in the gaps. Anyway, so this turtle is a little dark, but I used my blender pen to kind of lighten it up, and it, it's okay. Um, this little turtle... I'm paint, painting, no, I'm coloring a rainbow shell. These images are so cute. Jamie, I waited too long. This is my stamp this month for my um, design team projects. And I waited too long to get a video up. She only has one available. Um, I will link it below either way because she can always restock. So definitely check back and, um, you know, if you really want to let Jamie know, I'm sure she will figure something out to help you out. Um, she also has several new releases in her shop, so definitely go check that out. And don't forget to use coupon code CRAZYPAPERCHICK to save 10% right now. I'm keeping my coloring fairly simple. The butterfly and the flowers match. Um, I will use my brother's scan and cut to cut out the images off camera. I get a lot of comments asking if I still like the machine or why I seem to fussy cut more. When I stamp out images like this where there are a lot, I will use my brother's scan and cut. But if I just stamp out one image, I'm going to fussy cut it because I am not going to drag out my machine to cut one image. The, the time it would take me to get it set up, get it on the mat, and do all that, I could have cut the image myself. So I only use the scan and cut when I have multiple images to cut. But I still recommend the machine. I love it. Every time it cuts out my images, I'm so pleased. Um, and each time I use it, I learn a bit, little bit. So there they are. Um, I'm going to take this cloud stencil by MFT and... Use peacock feathers, distress oxide ink to make some clouds. But going back to the machine, I'm still new to it, so I learn a little bit here and there. And when I did my tutorial, <coughs> excuse me, when I did my tutorial a month or so ago, I think in March, um, I learned that I could delete images that I don't want cut because I know they're not going to cut properly. So that has been extremely helpful with not getting frustrated over, um, you know, the machine cutting images out and messing up my stamped images. So, like I said, I definitely still recommend it. And, you know, it's just a learning curve. You learn as you go. And I don't read manuals or anything. So <laughs> I learn better when I just kind of experiment. So I'm making my cloud stencils. And I'm going fairly far down. I'm going to use this Lawn Fawn Grass Border Dye. And I use some green cardstock to cut the uh, couple pieces out and I went far with the clouds because I wasn't sure where I wanted the grass to sit so I didn't want to have to go back and add more clouds. I'd rather just cover them 
them have plenty. I just use the edge of my little Stampy Dimensionals to add some foam, uh, some foam tape dimension, Stampy Dimensionals, whatever I'm trying to say. And then I had this corner rounder punch, and I got this punch I think from Michaels a long time ago. I don't even remember Joanne Hobby Lobby maybe. So I'm just rounding the edges. I thought you know I wanted to do something different, and actually if you go to Jamie's website, she has pictures of some of the design team cards and one of them is rounded and I really like that and I never use my rounded punch and you can see I removed that bottom layer of grass because obviously it would not fit in my rounder punch corner rounder and then I go ahead and attach it back and then trim off those edges with my scissors I add some struggle with the ATG gun to add adhesive to the back and then I will adhere it to my card base once I clean up this edge a little take some Stampin' Dimensionals or glue dots and adhere my little pieces, kind of deciding where they go. So cute. I like these turtles and their big heads. <laughs> Just adorable. Add a little bird on top of the turtle. And then I'm going to take some flowers and just kind of stick them in the corner over there. And then I'm going to take a piece of a strip of black cardstock and I'm using my anti static tool. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment with some Versamark. This is embossing ink. And I'm going to heat emboss it with white embossing powder. It says, I will always, I'll always have your back. And this embossing powder is a mix of several kinds, but it's mostly recollections. It's typically, the embossing powder I use the most, and it is a, a good embossing powder for being a store brand from Michaels. Go ahead and adhere that, and then I go ahead and add some Pretty Pink Posh Clear Sparkling Sequins, which my obsession is back with them. I love those sequins. Go ahead and add a few. And that will complete this card. So don't forget to check out Jamie's shop and her new releases currently. You can use coupon code CRAZYPAPERCHICK to save 10%. And let me know what you think of the card. Hope you liked it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.